which among the following is the more refined and vibration free at speeds of 100 to 120 km per hour mojo domina cbr 250r apache 310 and the duke 250 what's up youtube welcome back to another video on the mahindra mojo 300 abs so this video is going to be the q a video and i'm gonna answer the questions that you've asked in the community tab first of all thanks a lot for writing it to me and uh, let's get into the video so the first question is from abhinyan two reasons why mojo is better than dominar except tang range so first of all i have to tell that i have done a dedicated video comparing the dominar as well as the mojo the latest one so you can watch that for detailed review the reason is because many people have asked this question so many of the questions are based on dominar and mojo so that question is thoroughly answered in a different video so now coming back to his question his question was two reasons why mojo is better than dominar except tang range so the first thing is refinement i mean the kind of refinement this motorcycle gives is amazing and the second thing is brakes these brakes are better than domina so two reasons you have and there are a lot many other reasons domina is better than uh, mojo in the sense uh, the power delivery the lights the kind of cruising speed that it can carry and all those things so the next question can we do 600 to 700 kilometers ride per day with appropriate brakes does it have vibrations and what is the cruising speed of this one compared with domina so yes 600 to 700 won't be a problem on this kind of a motorcycle i'm telling this because in the morning i did 350 kilometer in one stretch and i got to know that this motorcycle doesn't give any fatigue to you in the form of vibration so there are very less vibration that has been carried from the engine to the rider absolutely very refined motorcycle the cruise speed is somewhere from 100 to 130 beyond 130 it starts slogging so what i'll tell is that you have all that power to play with us from uh, 100 to 130 so yes you can definitely do a 600 to 700 in a day if it's on a highway with this kind of a speed definitely you can do that so the next question is from ria which among the following is the more refined and vibration free at speeds of 100 to 120 km per hour mojo domina cbr 250r apache 310 and duke 250 oh my god this is a difficult question so in this question i want to make a small correction the thing is like 100 to 120 is kind of a cruise speed none of these motorcycle hits the power band at that point so let's make it to 120 to 140 to 120 to 140 most of the motorcycle has their power band kicked in few of them has the top rev range also so out of all these things uh, i have to say that the dominar will be giving more vibration to the rider and uh, secondly i will tell that the duke 250 will be giving more discomfort to the rider uh, because in ktm you won't you won't exactly see the vibrations it is that really slight bust that you see and the thing is like if you sit on the motorcycle for a longer period of time then you will get numbness on your hand your numbness on your butt so that's the thing and the next one is uh, apache r310 i have to put it on the third place I'm, I'm sorry to do that the reason is because that motorcycle is actually refined even at 130 it is refined but the thing is like the fairing vibrates like anything you can feel that don't hate me for saying this if you have ridden a motorcycle which has already done 20,000 km also an apache r310 then you will get to know that the fairing vibrates a lot that is the problem otherwise that motorcycle is beautiful to cruise at 135 140 and all and the last two are mojo and the cbr 250r so i will tell that 130 140 and all mojo will feel a little more refined than the cbr 250r now you'll be thinking that okay it is better than a honda machine yeah i have to tell that when you compare it with the cbr 250r yes uh, at 140 this motorcycle is a little more refined this is like the refinement level is very consistent but on a cbr what happens is like at 120 110 to 120 you won't feel much of a vibration at all it is like super smooth and going up to 140 and all you'll start feeling that kind of a vibration so i'm not telling this because i have the mojo with me now definitely this is the curve which i feel if you have ridden all the motorcycle you are free to comment your thoughts about this question next question is from arun why mojo wasn't a hit in indian roads poor marketing man that's the only answer for that next question is from vishnu das apart from the instrument cluster what is lacking in the mojo you're true that the instrument cluster first of all it looks a little outdated second thing is like it misses out the gear position indicator and many things that you see in dominar duke and all these things <laughs> anyway this is slightly better than the cbr 250r's instrument cluster that's all if you ask me what is there which has been missed then i'll tell that just put a little more low and dark then this motorcycle is going to be a bomb seriously 
the reason is because the, the low end torque this has is perfect now perfect for a beginner perfect for an intermediate rider but if you give this motorcycle to an experienced rider who is basically on to track and all then he won't probably like it he'll tell that the throttle is little laggy so adding a little low end torque will make this motorcycle definitely to compete with all other motorcycle in the segment in track so his second question is is it still a good tourer of course yes this is a very good tourer third question when looking from all aspects which one is scoring top cbr 250r or this beefy machine i'll tell that those who like cbr 250r the sporty riding conditions they can go ahead and try the 250r that is much more sporty and it actually cuts off all the wind blast and all the things till 130 135 no problem you are completely under that wind pocket but say if you are someone who cannot stay on a sport sports motorcycle for a long period of time then definitely this should be your choice because this is refined and this is upright uh, on the other hand cbr 250r is like refined and it's sporty next question is can we expect a mass return from mojo i don't know man i don't know it all depends on whether people will buy it or not uh, what i feel is that this is a good machine uh, it is not getting the right amount of attention so the next question is from suraj will it get any attention in the city how is the exhaust note is it sweet or loud is the headlight ugly will the 2019 mojo gets led headlight uh, definitely the 2019 mojo is not getting the led headlight is the conventional light it is looking good i don't have any problems looking onto it i feel like this looks good actually but the illumination is not so great it is okayish if you are a, a night highway tourer or you are going for tough off roads and probably you need auxiliary lights otherwise this lights are okay he has and one more question he was asking uh, does it get a good amount of attention of course yes the exhaust is giving a good amount of attention and all together the looks also when I mean, you stop in the signal and all people will look at you no problem but i have to tell that i'm missing that dual silencer on this if it was there then definitely it would have been much better this is not loud now it's slightly louder than the previous version it has got a little more grunt bottom of my heart i'm i'm a huge fan of the previous mojo's exhaust note so that's it with the q and a session and thanks for writing for me and uh, in the future also i'll be posting the pictures of the motorcycle that i'm going to ride and i'll be asking you the questions what all you have so write something interesting like this and i'll be happy to reply through the video itself so thanks for watching and as always show some love in the form of likes and comments see you in the next video until then bye bye